Hello everyone and welcome to Spice Wolf Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to cover the steps needed to create an ODBC connection between Spiceworks database and external application. And we are also going to cover the creation of more advanced reports. I will also show you how you can ask the user for a specific value or multiple values before running the report so that one report will return dynamically updated results based on values like queue, company, department, etc. Any Spiceworks version is good enough to follow this tutorial. I'm using Microsoft Access as the external application in this case but uh, you will be able to use anything else you have such as uh, crystal reports SharePoint etc. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install SQLite ODBC driver on our computer. Note that this is the computer that uh, we will be using to run the reports not Spicework server. To get the driver simply google for SQLite ODBC driver or you can uh, use the link I've published at the end of this tutorial. Once you've downloaded, simply run the exe file and as soon as the installation complete, we are ready to move on to the next step, creating the connection to Spiceworks database. To do that, simply open Windows Control Panel then go to the administrative tools and then to data sources make sure you switch to the system dsn tab now click on add and scroll down till you see the sqlite 3 odbc driver click on it then click finish at the dsn configuration screen we first enter the connection name we'll call it obviously spiceworks then we specify the location of Spiceworks database. In this tutorial, the database is stored locally on the server, but you can also create a network share and use it as the location. Once the database is selected, you can leave all the other values at the defaults. We're going to click OK all the way out. And now that the ODBC connection is set, Let's see how we can use it in Microsoft Access. I have already created a file called Spiceworks ODBC Demo, so I'm going to use it. You, of course, can use any file you like. Once you open the file, click on the External Data tab, then click on More, then click on the ODBC database option. At the Get External Data Wizard, select the second option, Link to the Source by creating a linked table, then click OK. The Select Data Source box will appear. Switch to the Machine Data Source, select the data source called Spiceworks, and click OK. At the Link Tables window, we can choose to create a link only for specific tables. It is done by holding the control key on the keyboard and clicking on each table name. In this tutorial we want to select all the tables, so we're going to click on select all, then click OK. We will be asked to specify primary keys for access indexing. Since Spiceworks already handles this part, Simply click OK until the process of linking the table is complete. Now we're ready to create our first query. Click on Create, then Query Design. And we are going to start with very basic query by selecting everything from the Devices table.
As you can see, we have successfully retrieved the information. Now it's time to make things a little bit more complicated. We are now going to create a dynamic query by asking for a user input before retrieving the information from the database. In Access, it is done by using the like command. Let's run the query, enter my name, and as you can see, only devices that has me as the owner are now showing up. I really hope that you are ready to make things even spicier, since I have updated the query a bit, and now we are going to create a report based on it. As you can see, we are now retrieving only partial results from the devices table. I have limited the number of columns so they will fit easily in one page. We are now going to quickly create a report based on that query. We're going to give it a name and we are ready to make some advanced report customization. The looks of this report is not very impressive right now. If I'm going to show you the way the same report looks in Spiceworks for a second, you wouldn't see too much of a difference. Let's make some adjustments to a report by taking advantage of Microsoft Access features. We are going to add summary and percentage to each group of assets and we are going to add meaningful titles. Okay, so it looks better. All we have to do now is to make sure that the uh, data really updates in real time as we update it in Spiceworks. Notice that I only have two group of assets, server and unknowns. I'm going to edit a few devices and update their values. I'll only show you how it's done for a couple of them. The procedure is really the same for all of the devices. As we go back to our access application, you can see that the report reflects the changes that we've made. We now have more groups of assets. As you can see, I have further customized the looks of this report. I'm not getting into the details of access formatting at this point, but uh, if you want to see how it's done, just leave a comment at the end of this tutorial and if there, if there will be enough uh, comments I will do a tutorial just for that. The reason I have customized the report is that I want to show you one last thing before we end this tutorial. Let's say how to create a dynamic report by asking the user for a value. To do that let's go back to the query and add uh, a where statement with the uh, like command asking for a username.
the report will now return only devices that lists the username as the device owner. Let's go back to the report and run it. And here I'm asked to enter a name, so we will enter my name. And as you can see, only one device is returned by the report. That's the device that lists me as the owner. So we have successfully created a dynamic report, just as we planned.